Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cancer, if you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, there's a link in the description box where you can find out your whole birth chart, and that way if you want additional messages for the week, check out your Moon and Rising sign on top of the general reading for your Sun sign. So this is for Cancer for the week of June 27th to July 4th. It is a general reading with the Wisdom of the Oracle Tarot for the main spread, and then drawing additional cards from the Medicine Card Tarot and the Healing with the Angels Tarot, as always. I'm going to be asking a little bit of a different question this week, though. I thought it'd be kind of fun to switch it up, and instead of saying, what are the general messages for you when I shuffle, I'll be asking, what does Cancer need to know for the week? Um, I often ask that for myself when I'm doing my own personal readings here at home, so I'm going to see how it pans out in a general sense for my weekly readings for my viewers this week. So I hope that you enjoy this. Links to the cards I'm using as well as to my ebook are in the description box and a little write-up about why I do what I do. If you're just joining me, thank you so much for um, letting me help. Um, add some hope and healing into your world this week and if you're returning as a subscriber thank you so much for being part of this this is my whole life my whole world is learning how to serve you and learning how to get to the heart of the matter in order to make things lighter and more positive and healing so I really appreciate you being here so cancer I wish for you all success joy and wellness I call upon Archangels Michael Gabriel Metatron and Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. And I ask that Gaia please bless this reading for Cancer. So what does Cancer need to know for the week? What does Cancer need to know for the week? So far you've seen our first jumper here is the Yin card. This is the total opposite to the whole of the yin and yang symbol, one of the world's most ancient and universally renowned and understood symbols. It's literally the Chinese symbol with half black with a little bit of white and half white with a little bit of black. This is the yin to the yang. Now the yang is an action card. It's the masculine energy. The yin is the feminine energy. It is a passive uh, card, passive energy card, which means that there has to be a sense of receipt, of receiving this week. So if you were unsure, for example, of where to turn or how to uh, react to something in a general sense, like I said, this is a general reading, so whatever's most prominent in your life, once you apply these messages to, I encourage you um, to take what they say and apply them if they make sense to you. So like I said, if, if the biggest question in your world, depending on what you're going through, is how do I best receive this? Or how do I best engage in this circle of events or friends or um, concepts or, or etc.? cetera? Um, well, it's saying that the best way for you to go about this in terms of what you need to know around how to accomplish this is to be receptive. So this is interesting because Cancer is a cardinal sign. Cardinal signs, like all four of them, um, even though they're all different elements, are necessarily actionable signs, right? You are a sign that's going to typically start something, okay? You're going to be the, the enforcer. You're going to be the creator, the idea person, the person to get something started. Um, this is saying, on the other hand, this week there could be a sense of not necessarily let someone else take the lead, but see what happens when someone does. You don't have to follow that necessarily, but if you see what happens when someone else does, or you're coming at all situations from a place of receptivity, from a place of, I'm going to draw all the positive out of these circumstances without being vampiric about it, obviously. Um, but if you can... Be that well of emotion. Uh, another way to read this as well is a very emotional card, obviously. It is the feminine energy. Lots of pink and mauve here. And then in the central, there's this 
huge kind of what looks like a bird bath, but it's overflowing. So there's an overflowing of emotional energy here. And this could serve you best this week, Cancer, particularly if you're the type of Cancer to hold things in. This is about you saying, no, this is a positive place for you to be. You can now release this uh, in terms of receptivity, um, being receptive to being that emotional person and allowing yourself to be that emotional person. And then to one side, we have the treasure island. You could find also that this state of mind or this state of being or um, attitude or intention this week is going to bring not only things you may have expected, like positivity and joy and, and gratitude, but also a sense of wellness that you couldn't have anticipated because the treasure is within. The treasure island really is about having something that already exists in your world that you just need to connect with. You need to feel as though you're part of this, that this isn't outside of you. This is an energy that you bring into your life and you have control over this. Wow, so we have a lot of really high energy cards here. Not only, I mean, I do think that they all are, but certainly when they're um, wrapped around each other in a reading like this, there's a lot of, this week, in my opinion, Cancer, this is about being available to answers. Okay, so beginning with the receptivity, it's about you don't even, in my opinion here, it's not even like you have to ask the questions, but you might have to understand your motivations because we've got the why card here. This is a large scale question card. This is large concepts, large definitions, meanings, etc. But it's a key concept with the why card is about intention. Why are you doing certain things? <laughs> Why do you present yourself a certain way? Why do you say or not say certain things? And like I said, if you come at this week from a place of receptivity without being actionable, without presenting without presenting the answer into the world, this could be about really getting to the heart of why things are the way they are uh, for you, Cancer. I'm actually going to look up some keywords around Treasure Island for you in just a moment. But the bottom of the um, deck energy card is the here and now. So a great deal of symbolism here. Let's look at not only the hearts around this little girl who is sitting poised on top of the universal symbol of fertility. She's literally in the moment. And this is beautiful to be in the here and now, the past, the future, are two things that don't even exist, okay? And it's true. The past and the future literally do not exist. We can't go there. It's only gonna trip us up. Sure, we can remember good times. Sure, we can plan for the future, but you need the magic is here. The magic is in the center uh, of these two frames of mind. And of course, we've got the window in the center. This could be what lay ahead for you. What's inside of here is what lay ahead for you. And it's very ornate, very beautiful. And then with the flag that she's holding is, it says on it, you are here. So really being in the present, really being available and receptive to people around you, even if this is a new skill that you're developing, maybe as an actionable, uh, as a cardinal sign, maybe as an action sign, you've been a force to contend with in the recent past or as an attitude or as an MO in your life. But this week, I think what this is saying is what you need to know is it's time to be receptive. And it's time to do it from a place where you're in the center, you're centered, and you're aware of the present moment. So like I promised, I'm going to look up just a couple of keywords around Treasure Island. Um, nine, here we go. The Law of Attraction, bringing dreams into fruition, abundance appearing as if it were from nowhere. Okay. <laughs> so this could be very well being the result of being present here and now, being honest about being in the present, coming from a place of love, not considering yourself the past or future, knowing that this is a fertile place. The magic does belong in the present and the receptivity. So the law of attraction, knowing that something bigger awaits for you um, and that maybe even something that you feel that you don't deserve um, or didn't belong to you is very much yours. You very much 
have been part and parcel of creating this for yourself, but maybe you've just been busy or, or have lived in the future or the past and you're only available now in the present moment to really recognize it. And certainly if this isn't evident for you, another way to read the receptive card here in the yin is to draw back, go within, become familiar with the emotional world for yourself. Um, not only available to that, but, be, but I hope I said comfortable, but become comfortable in that because I think that is going to be part of your treasure. It's going to be part of the warmth and the wellness that you do experience. And with the why, I spoke about this a little bit at the beginning, but the why is largely about intentions and large scale questions. Um, so again, not a great deal of action this week. It's about being present. It's about accepting the beauty and the treasure that already exists and awaits you and belongs to you. It's about receiving that, feeling emotionally present, emotionally healthy, and then discovering this week, for example, Cancer, why, intent, why you have these intentions around living a certain way, acting, talking, behaving a certain way. Like I said, it, from a general perspective, th that part is up to you about how you explore your intentions around, you know, X, whatever that X is in your life. Um, but certainly in terms of intentions, why you're going about things, why you choose certain things over others, etc. Um, if you do it from a place of being in the moment, in the here and now, without visiting the past or future, uh, which is really just, I mean, it is a type of time travel if you think about it, um, but, if, but the magic is here. It's in the present. So if you can remain in the present, I think you'll be far more able to relax and receive the goodwill and the treasure um, through the law of attraction, through the, um, the manifesting of bringing something about by being receptive to it. It's remarkable sometimes what we wish for or yearn for and work so hard for, um, no matter what the zodiac sign in um, so much of our lives, that we forget to make room for it or we forget to allow it space or, or we, we do all this work and then we go, oh, well, I'm not worth it or, you know, we feel so close to something and then just at the last second it's snatched. But I think that, that the power of getting through that barrier for you this week is about um, relaxing into it. So not a whole great deal of action in terms of physical energy this week, just about intention. Here we have the turkey. The turkey's keyword is uh, giveaway, I believe. And giveaway is really interesting because this is what I think is going on here. I think you need to give away the stress, give away this sense of having to know all the answers or knowing what to do next or even giving yourself um, a hard time about not having the intentions or not having the answers or not knowing how it's going to play out um, is, is going to work against you. There's no need in beating yourself up about this. You can give that away. You can give this sense of beating yourself up away. But certainly if this is about making room in your life and this is on a physical plane or emotional, however this is working out for you, if this is about literally making room in your life so that you can stay in the present, so that you can be aware and conscious, I think this is all about giving away what doesn't work for you anymore, okay, Cancer? And this could be about what you're going to find out this week, asking these questions around intention, large-scale attitude questions, being receptive, knowing that the law of attraction works for you and you can pull this beautiful, uh, golden, rich, and loving energies into your life. It's about giving away the opposite of that. If that's already, if the opposite of that is in your life, it's time to let that go and get rid of it because that's going to make room. That will create the room to welcome these beautiful new treasures into your life. Um, another word around giveaway also, probably more obviously, is the term sacrifice. Everything in life involves a sacrifice. It's, it's just the name of the game. It's the way it happens. So um, make sure that it is a well thought out and well processed sacrifice you're willing to make in order to reach a higher level or your highest good. 
and I'm thrilled to see the new beginnings at the end of this look. I promise you, if you can get through this this week, especially if it's emotionally heavy for you, if you're ready to give something away that isn't working, to be present in the here and now, ask those intentional questions, those large-scale questions for you, learn why exactly you're doing what you're doing and what you want out of it, this is going to create a new beginning for you. Something really beautiful awaits. And I'm going to bet that it's the very next level for you. Nothing is going to hold you down this week, Cancer. Don't let it hold you down. Uh, be available, be receptive, and be willing to be emotionally present this week. So that went on a bit long. I'm so grateful you stuck around for the end of it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I upload videos for your sign every week. And as always, if you have a second, comment. Let me know how this works out for you or how this played out for you this week. And as always, Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.